Hi, Alison Alhamid, Editor-in-Chief of Modern Salon, and I am at America's Beauty Show 2017 with Sadell Miller. She is the co-founder of Ardell Cosmetics co-founder of Matrix. She was on the chairman of the board for Aquage. And it's just such an honor to be standing here with you today, right before the Beauty Changes Lives event that's going to be honoring Sadell and Arnie. And man, you've had an incredible career and such an incredible impact on this industry. And where do you even begin? I thought we could talk about some of the highlights. So let's start with Ardell. How did that even come to be? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Ardell was a service that we did. Ardell is actually Arnie and Sadell, that our names together. And um, Arnie always said I had more uh, uh, initials than he had. <laughs> it wasn't equal. <laughs> but anyhow, um, we used to do a service in the salon called eye tapping. And it took two to two and a half hours to do the service because you had to cut the eyelashes, you put them on one by one, one single natural hair, and then you did three layers of that on the eyes, and then you had to cut them and feather them after they were glued onto the eyelashes. Um, it took two and a half hours. We charged $75 six, in 1960, and we lost money on every single one of them we did. <laughs> but. The ladies loved it. And they said they have to keep the lashes going at, at our salon. Right. And we decided, we don't know how we're gonna do that. And one night, Arnie was putting a fall in my hair and I turned the fall over and I saw that the hair was hand tied together onto a web. And I said, what if we put a few lashes and tied them together. And then maybe we could cut them in sizes so we wouldn't have to feather them. And he knew somebody from Korea and who got us together with uh, a factory there. And lo and behold, one day we got this beautiful little tray with lashes all singly put onto it. And um, it worked. Now we charge $15 for the service. Mm -hmm. It became profitable. It took 15, 20 minutes to do. And uh, all of our customers loved it. Mm -hmm. So one day Arnie came home and he said, uh, I've just taken um, a booth in a little show in Chicago. And I said, you did? <laughs> and he said, I want to know where Nobody knows me that well. Uh, and this little show in the suburbs, they won't know me as well. And um, we went to the show, and we put together a little kit, and I wrote all kinds of directions so they'd know how to do them, and um, our hotline so that they'd be able to call if they have a problem. Um, we had a wonderful day. We put on 100 pairs of eyelashes, and we didn't sell the first kit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that night we had dinner, and we decided it didn't work. It was fun. It's over. And he said, but we do have to open up tomorrow because I signed a contract for two days. Well, we came down a little late, about 10 o'clock. There were 60 people in line wow. waiting for us. They didn't believe the story that they could shower or swim and that the lashes are asleep and the lashes would still be on. And they kept saying, look, they're there, they're staying. And in 15 minutes, we sold out everything we had. Um, the magazines wanted to know who we were. The, uh, everybody, you know, rallied around. Sales reps were very excited. Um, and before we knew it, we were teaching hairdressers for salons how to do eyelashes and then add a new service to the salon. And at a time where um, it was kind of a depression, we needed new services and things to brighten things up. 
And well, it worked. It certainly it worked. worked. And today our Dell lashes are everywhere and um, are very, very uh, popular. Uh, they outlasted everything. So uh, fast forward a few years. Ardell not only has an amazing, cool name story, but so does Matrix. So tell us about how the name Matrix came to be, how that happened, and just, it exploded. One of my favorite things you told us earlier is, our goal wasn't to be the biggest, it was to be the best. But once we got to be the best, we wanted to be the biggest, and you were. Uh, there came a time where we wanted to control our distribution, and Ardell taught us the distribution part of the industry. Um, we started with 50 distributors, ended up with 500, and that was not what we wanted to do. Uh, we really wanted to change the image of the hairdresser. And we decided that we had to start a new company. And we started planning what that company would be and who would be involved with it. Um, at the time, we didn't have a name, and my brother and I, uh, who were in marketing, were talking about a new perm that had the first molecular weight, lightweight uh, conditioner that would be put on at the right time to condition hair. And we're talking, and Arnie comes running in, the lawyer's on the phone, we need a name for the company. And I said, we don't have time to talk about a name right now. We're in the middle of the matrix of the hair shaft. And he said, that's it. And I said, what's it? He said, matrix. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that became the name of the company, Matrix Essentials. And it's yeah. amazing how far matrix has come since the early days and a quage and just seeing you here at America's Beauty Show is such a treat. I want to end with a quick sound bite. Tell us about hairdressers, why they have a little piece of Sedell Miller's heart. Oh, I love hairdressers. Um, there isn't anybody in the world that gives more of themselves to their customers. You know, they see them at good times and bad times, and they take away so much information from them. But they always are there for them and helping them and advising them and um, they're, they're, they make everybody look better and feel better. And there are some people, older people, that never get out but once a week to go to the salon and that's probably the only time they ever talk to anybody. Uh, they, they give of themselves so freely and of their talents so beautifully. Um, and what we wanted to do with Matrix was give back to them a way of growing, excelling, and building a proper image truly of what they give to their people. Um, Matrix did that through lots of education, wonderful programs, um, we created retailing in the salon. We didn't call it retailing. What we called it was the last service that you give a client. Because if you can use all those products to make that hairdo, you need to help her so she can take care of it during the week when you're, when you're not there. <laughs> well, Sadal, Modern Salon thanks you for all of your amazing years to the, in this industry, all of your amazing innovations, um, your philanthropic heart, and we are so um, pleased and honored to spend this time with you. It's so nice to see you at America's Beauty Show. Thank you so much, Sadal. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure.